Hi, I'm Matt Collins. I'd like to welcome you to Bob Weber Auto Mart on Douglas Avenue here in Racine, across from Douglas Park. We specialize in one-year-old, low-mileage, almost new cars. And if you'd like to stop by and see them, or see them on our website, bobweberautomart.com, we can save you between five and ten thousand dollars on your next almost new car purchase. Welcome into another edition of Racine Sports Junkies here at RacineSportsZone.com. I'm Steve Sparky Pfeiffer, way over here on this side of the table. Gary Wolfel's way over there on that end of the table. <laughs> I'm in left field uh, out in the bleachers. <laughs> we, are, right, we are here at Racine Prairie with the Prairie Girls basketball team, three members of the basketball team. Sitting next to me, Megan Wolf, Gabby Ortiz in the middle of Kate Andrusi over there uh, on the end. And uh, Prairie Girls basketball, you guys are the talk of the town, obviously. Uh, Megan, let's start with you. I mean, you guys have been together now for obviously a while throughout high school. Talk about what it means to be here now towards the end uh, of your high school career. Um, well, it's kind of bittersweet. I mean, we're, we started off our senior year on a roll, but now we're starting our last round against all of the conference teams, and it's kind of sad because you're starting to realize, like, this is the last time you'll be playing in the jack and the last time you'll be playing with all right. the girls and we've been together since second grade so second grade yeah really so, so no, no secrets on this team then eh? no <laughs> you know that's pretty wild you think that you guys play all the way through and then you guys are probably going to be going your separate ways once comes college megan yeah. what are you going to be doing i'm going to st louis to play soccer at wash u okay yeah. very cool uh, Gabby, we all know where you're going. Uh, <laughs> where are you going, by the way? It's just for those people out there that don't know. <laughs> I'm going to the University of Oklahoma. <laughs> Kay, where were you doing after high school? I'm going to the University of St. Tom Say Yes, St. Thomas. Oh my gosh. St. Thomas. <laughs> yes. The island of St. Thomas is really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> instead of Minnesota. But that's that's good though. That's that's fine. Gabby, talk about what it's been like for you. I mean, obviously from your freshman year all the way through, I mean you've really had to deal with a lot of probably the media storm that comes with it. I was seeing on the Racine Journal Times website for top stories of two thousand thirteen, you were the top story of two thousand and thirteen in the city of Racine. Yeah, um, I mean, it can it can be, be a lot, but, you know, I have a great team, great supporting cast, and obviously it's not all me. I mean, these four years have been amazing. I can't believe it's almost to an end. Like Megan said, we're on our, sec on our last second through between all these teams. So um, I've just had a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. Um, I appreciate all the accolades I have received, and received but um, yeah, I just can't wait. We It's each game at a time, and we got a goal to reach, and we want to get back at state, so that's what we're focused on right now. You know, it's nice when you have guards, and they handle the ball, and that's all fun and stuff, but <laughs> somebody's got to get the ball inside. Somebody's got to do all the dirty work inside, and that's where you come along, and you, you've been as consistent as they come, and when you, people look at box scores and see what's going on, you're always the one rebounding the basketball and doing the dirty work inside. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done any of that without my teammates. They know where to put the ball inside with me. Um, and then I just try to finish. <laughs> you guys aren't only one of the best teams in the state. You're probably the most modest. <laughs> so tell, tell me a little bit. You two, you said you've known each other since second grade, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you ever walk away and say, hey, you know what, Megan, we're going to win state championship when we get to high school? Did that conversation ever come up? I don't think it ever came no. out, but probably in the back of our heads, yeah. we knew that we were a good team. Because you were playing basketball pretty early, right? I mean, oh, yeah. It wasn't oh, like yeah. you just started like sixth, seventh grade. I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we we had a team at Prairie with like Allie Mueller, Becky Kahn, us two, Rachel, um, basically all the seniors except this one. But <laughs> um, and we just we practice in the field house. We actually had a play call state. So, like when we were little and out of bounds play, I mean, it's always been there. We've never really talked about it, but it's it's a common goal. Mm -hmm. So, Gabby, when did you come to Prairie? I started Prairie in sixth grade. In sixth grade uh, I used to right. go to St. Lucie, so I started here in sixth, and then I always played with the guys. I started playing in like some little tournaments eighth with grade. them in like eighth. I played a couple, but uh -huh. I didn't really until freshman year. What was your uh, reaction when you saw Gabby for the first time play? Huh. I <laughs> <laughs> right there, right? <laughs> Come on, I have Megan. No idea. <laughs> um, excitement, I guess, to be yeah. able to finally play with her. I, I'd heard a lot about her, and when she decided to come to Prairie, it was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, knowing that she was on our team was 
a really exciting thing. <laughs> yeah, the other thing is when a very good player comes into a situation, there might be some resentment among the teammates saying, hey, you know, she came here now and all of a sudden she's stealing our thunder. Did that happen at all? Was there any bit of jealousy or resentment? No, she's no. such a <laughs> humble player that she like fit right in. It was a great fit for us. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her, she's blushing right <laughs> 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 that's, that's a care of that that's a care of very nicely. Talk Gabby, talk a little bit about what the recru recruiting process uh, is like from from a college perspective. Because we hear about it from a guy's perspective. We heard about it from JP Tokido in Milwaukee mm -hmm. uh, and everything that he went through. How is it on the girls' side? Um, I mean, I would say it's it probably has a lot of similarities to the guys. Obviously the guys is just even more media and all that thrown right. at you, but I mean at that major D1 level, it's a lot. Um, I think between my, my dad and coach, we handled it well. Um, I didn't try to speed anything through. You know, once that September 1st of your junior year, I believe, is when it really blew up because it's all full contact. And, you know, there's so many rules. So sure. um, with those rules, it helped. But now I, feel, I almost feel bad for the younger girls because they've dropped some of those rules and it's opened up for, like, all contact. So um, just with the between the phone calls, emails, the mail, every day getting letters in your mail, and it, it, it becomes a lot, but obviously I had a good experience through it. Um, I never had any issues. All the coaching staffs I dealt with were awesome. Um, so overall, I have no complaints about it. Did you have any crazy recruiting stuff? Because the Badgers now have had this happen, I think, twice. They claim it's a mistake. Uh -huh. I don't know if it is or not. Where a recruiter will end up with like 85 letters from Wisconsin <laughs> in one day when they come home. There's like two boxes of mail. Eight. <laughs> I feel sorry for the mailman. And then, <laughs> and for the great part about this is they're all handwritten letters oh and they're all God. different letters. And Wisconsin claims that it's Steve, big. that's why you have interns. <laughs> well, whatever. But, I mean, okay. Did you ever have anything crazy like that where one school did something like over the top more so than maybe somebody um, else? I wouldn't say that crazy. I mean, I've gotten at the most from one school in one day would probably have been like fought like you get like from each coach maybe like each oh, one sure. hitting handwritten like that was nice but that I mean that would be the most would be like five or six but nothing like that does it ever get to be because I, I would think at some point because you always hear all you know, these coaches you know texting players hey good game whatever the case may be but I mean you've got your cell phone you've got your friends you want to talk to yeah. whatever else <laughs> these guys are trying to figure out where you're going out at night or whatever and your phone is just blowing up with everybody else yeah that's what I said with the rules that's why it was actually good for me but now that's changed but the texting it wasn't too overwhelming because I already had it down to like my top five so it was only like those top five oh, teams yeah. so I had already cut it down but for the other people that didn't have their narrow list narrowed uh, it could be a lot more overwhelming yeah. But what's going to be the one moment during the recruiting process that you'll always remember? Was there like one moment that, you know, everything hit you maybe or um, something that, that'll stand out? I mean, later down, when I knew, like, I would say the coolest thing was on my official visit at Oklahoma when uh, I got to put on the uniform. That's when it really hit me, um, when I put on the jersey mm -hmm. and got to take a picture with my dad. I thought that was really cool. I think, you know, it really hit my dad and was like, wow, like, you're going to be going to college in a year. Um, that would probably be one of the one of the biggest moments sure. um, that I can think of. When you guys go around, Kate, like when you went to figure out what college you're going to go to and stuff, what are some of the keys that you look for uh, in a campus of where you wanted to go? I wanted to have like a small campus feel, but also near a city so I could have the opportunities after college and during college. I also wanted like a medium-sized school, so not too small, but not too big, where I could know some people and have a friend group. Um, academics were definitely my top priority, and then a good basketball program. Sure. That's interesting, because I think everybody has different ideas. What about you? It was actually very similar to Kate. I mean, I've been at Prairie since kindergarten, so big school was really scary for me. <laughs> um, so I went for a kind of smaller feel. Um, I wasn't looking for basketball, but I was looking for soccer. So I went and lo did a few soccer camps there. Um, just the feel of the campus and um, the people there, I wanted to make sure they were nice and friendly. Was distance from family ever an issue for any of you guys as far as picking school? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to be out in like California or down south. Um, I wanted to try to keep it within driving distance. Yeah. 
Six hours, I guess, isn't that bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but that wasn't an issue for Compared Gabby, obviously, right? Well, I mean, obviously, yeah. I'm really close to my family. I mean, it's I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but it was nothing like I was scared of. Uh, I knew I could go, and plus with my dad's flying benefits and working for the airlines, I know that if it's an emergency, I can get home. So that is helps me, but um, <laughs> it's, it's going to be hard. You know, it, it's a long drive, but it is a flight away. So. Are you... Uh, maybe I don't want to scare you, but <laughs> go ahead. He's going to anyway, so but, no, because, you know, I mean, but I'm not going I, to. I do, I do, I do the afternoon show in Milwaukee on Sports Radio 1250, um, and the guy I do the afternoon show with is Gary Ellerson, and his daughter um, plays D1 college basketball uh, as well. Now she plays at a smaller uh, D1 school, Evansville. Um, but the transition from high school to what you're expected to do in high school to what it is in college, and she's a senior this year, so I've kind of lived through all four of these years with her, and the, 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 the expectations of, you know, she comes home maybe two, three weeks in the summertime, and that's it. Yeah. And they pretty much own your butt the entire time you're in college. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and it's absolutely, <laughs> they do. I mean, it's a whole different it's a job. It's a whole different level, right. Yeah. I mean, did they tell you kind of what that's all about? Did the other girls on the team talk to you yeah, about that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool because I got to see some, from so many different viewpoints, different players that are either extremely far from home from where they were or even right there. And I think one of the, I remember one of the players, I think, believe on Miami, when I was on my Miami visit, that she she was like she transferred. I think she she's from Pittsburgh and she's all at she's at the U. But her her comment to me was like basically you're there so much you don't even have time to go home. So she was like I, it doesn't really matter if you're 40 minutes from home or that far because sure. the amount of time you get to go home. Right. And I said that's actually really smart. I mean it was a good point. Um, and I mean it would what would it be nice to be an hour down the road? Yes. But again, like she said, you don't get that much time to go home. So five years from now. What do you expect to be doing? Well, we'll um, ask each of you. What would be your ultimate, <laughs> ultimate so yeah, dream job five Ooh. years from now? Well, I would probably still be in college because I would be doing... On the five-year plan, eh? Yes, <laughs> physical therapy. Nice. So, yes, I'll be still in college. <laughs> so, so, so you'd like to be a physical therapist. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gabby? Um, I would probably, you know... I would probably be finishing up school as well, trying to get my master's, but I think I'm looking to go into communication, sports broadcasting maybe. I don't know. We'll see where sure. college takes me. But um, I also, depending how I do, I, I would love to play overseas basketball-wise, okay. but, you know, I'm going in the way of communication. So. Sure. Megan? Um, I'll probably still be in college, too, going after a graduate, <laughs> graduate degree in neurology or something like that. But Neurology? I'm, yes. <laughs> she, she loves the brain. Uh, yeah, 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 this, this is the toughest question of the day because you know, your whole team has a lot of bright girls on it, right? Yeah. I would imagine your GPA is slightly better than my high school GPA. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, if you had to pick one person on your team as the smartest player, I mean, smartest student, who would it be? Oh, God. Wow. It better Thanks, be. She's guys. got some knowledge. <laughs> What's your grade point? She's the top. Um, Right now, I think it's 3.93. Okay, and where does that put you in your class? Uh, they don't give out rankings oh, in Prairie, but okay. she'll be on the top. But she, yeah. that's like with taking like three AP classes. So mm -hmm. Wow. At a regular <laughs> school, it would be, if it weighted, it would be 4. like a 4.5. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Prairie They don't wait. Our, it's a, yeah, our GPA is very... I mean, it's very, I mean, it's known for its academic. Yeah. It's yeah. not known for its athletics. I mean, yeah. sure, it's nice. You guys are doing great. But yeah. I think it's stressed upon you from early on that academics is mm -hmm. the most important thing, correct? Yeah. You're a student athlete. Student always comes first. Gotcha. Yeah. What, what is the, the goal or the model of this year's team, I mean, with, with you guys at least? I mean, is it pretty much state championship or bust for you guys? I mean... It, that is our goal in the back of our head, but I think our team, our, our motto would say is take one game at a time because mm -hmm. we can't be so caught up in, oh, my God, if we lose this and we're not going to – we just – one game at a time, I would say, is the big thing for us. Megan Wolf, Gabby Ortiz, Kate Andrews, see, it's the Prairie Girls basketball team. We're three members of the Prairie Girls basketball team are out here on a remote, something we don't do very often when we came out here for these girls to do the show today. Thanks, guys, for coming out and doing Thank this. You. Thank, you. Thank you. The, the championship bone talk. The championship <laughs> bone talk. Exactly right. right. Another edition of Sports Junkies, the preps edition, here at RacingSportsZone.com.